You may have heard of the story of Suicide Mouse, a disturbing 9 minute and 4 second long lost episode of the 1920s, 1930s version of Mickey Mouse. The last 30 seconds are very much unknown, but what is known is that there is Russian text on the last frame, and the final half minute has caused a death. Well, it's been found that at 8.34, it cuts from Mickey Mouse and screams to Mickey himself, who has no eyes and has a curved smile, frantically running into this warped void. Yes, between 7 minutes to 8.04, the floating rubble the buildings have become into turn into said void, and the sidewalk moving in impossible directions seemingly merges with it, though very unnoticeable because of how distorted the video has become at this point. Mickey seems to be going faster throughout the duration. Back to the final moments, there seems to be a gun floating. And when the mouse approaches it, he stops running. He slowly but surely picks it up, turns toward the screen, and puts the gun to his head. Throughout the duration of him saying, Real suffering is not known, seven times, each time getting gradually louder. At around 8.54, the screen turns white, and a gunshot sound happens. This is pretty much what the guard did when he saw the ending. On 8.55 though, you can see that the buildings and the sidewalk are back to normal, but Mickey is lying down, only his shoes being visible. 8.58, you can see a very gory close-up image of Mickey lying dead, his eyes being there, but blood on the floor and a gaping hole in the area of his head that caused the impact. At 9.01, it suddenly cuts to a close-up of Magrillo Mouse? It's occupied with a loud, demonic screeching noise played for around half a second before cutting to the Russian text for the remaining seconds. It's also worth pointing out that on the very first frame of the video, on the very left, you can see a syringe lying on the floor. And at 4.32, where the video is mostly nothing, Magrillo appears for a split second before disappearing, this time with no screeching. There are also random weird noises throughout a minute 30 to 6 minutes, probably of doors closing, opening, or items being picked up. Overall, Suicide Mouse probably wasn't even made by Disney in the late 20s, early 30s. It's almost like some Russian bootleg that probably got exported to the US at the time the original story was written. We may just never know. <laughs>